Hey, what's up? This is Derek Taylor from Overkill, and you're watching the only TV show that matters, Team TV. It's been going great. Been fucking thrashing necks all over the place. Check that shit out. Being in this band and you know each album to me just keeps keeps getting better and better and more of more of a challenge and more of you know fun to play you know just keeping that uh, fresh metal name going along yeah. Look, get that, get all that. Let's get one of these angles out. Look at that. I currently have four Deans. Um, they're Z series and they're custom made. Only four Deans in the world just like them. I like the Explorer series, the Z series that Dean had. Uh, the only modifications that I made to the guitar were one pickup and one volume knob because I think that's all you really need. You know, I'm not that type of player that needs any like finesse or nuances or Overkill really doesn't have too many mellow parts in it that I need to you know cut down. So it's either 10 or 0, on or off. I'll tell you, the guy that I pay to destroy my equipment every time we go out on the road, which is my, my, my guitar tech and he's standing right over there, uh, they're holding up great. You know, uh, there's been no broken headstocks, no chips, no nothing, um, no busted parts, holding up great. The necks on these Z's, and actually that's why one of the reasons why I like them, um, is it's, it's very, it actually fits my hand perfectly. Um, you know, trying other, you know, guitars and stuff like that, um, you know, it, it's, it's a level of comfort that as soon as I put it in my hand, I said this. I played a uh, festival in, Euro in uh, Germany called Wacken, and uh, uh, Dean had a booth uh, behind in the artist camp. And uh, when we got there, our tour manager said that um, you know Elliot wanted to you know talk to me and the other guitar player, and uh, you know just to just to talk to us, show us what he you know Dean's were all about. Um, I've always liked Dean guitars. I mean, I've always liked the you know the headstocks. You know. Um, there's just something about that headstock, you know what I'm saying? It's just so so definable and so classic. And, uh, you know, I'm looking around there, seeing all the different models and everything like that. I got to talking to Elliot, and uh, he was really excited about, you know, wanting to, you know, bring Overkill into the Dean family. And I'm more than welcome the chance, because, you know, he was just such a, uh, he really took the time to, like, you know, talk to me about how, what, what can we do? What kind of guitars are you interested in? And we can do this, and we can do that. Just, you know, it wasn't, you know, some artist rep guy that was, hey, yeah, here's a pamphlet, check him out, give me a call when you get back to the States. You know, this guy, you know, Elliot, just seemed definitely, genuinely concerned about what I wanted to play in a guitar. I'm a Jesus list. I will be done and ruined. I joined Overkill in 2000. Um, I was uh, asked to actually, which is kind of really funny, uh, was asked to fill in for Dee Dee Bernie. Uh, Dee Dee Bernie was having uh, his second child and uh, he went home because his wife gave birth when he was on the road or was somewhere close to that and, she, and he needed to be home with his family. So I got a phone call from my, my buddy Dave Linsk and uh, I've known him for, for years because we're both New Jersey guys. We played around in all these bands. Gave me a call and said, hey, would you like to you know, fill in you know, for Dee Dee playing bass? Uh, the last leg of the Halford tour, we were on tour, they were on tour with uh, Rob Halford on his Resurrection album, uh, and Overkill was supporting Bloodletting. So I said, sure, absolutely, sent me the tape, learned all the songs, rehearsed with the band before they left, and then, you know, I flew to Switzerland, met the band, and we did the rest of the 11 shows. It turns out that the other guitar player in Overkill, Joe Camo, was actually leaving the band to go sing for Annihilator. So they were looking for a guitar player, and my buddy Dave says to me, he goes, why don't you just, you know, play guitar? I mean, you know half the material, you're a, you know, a pretty decent guitar player, and he says, why don't you just pop over on stage right and just, you know, thrash it out? I said, no problem. And I cursed him. 
every day, ever since. One festival we did in UK that um, there was like nine bands on there, and I didn't see, I was the only Dean player. I was the only person there with Deans. So I carried the torch for Elf and let him know that. I was in the UK, and I was the only one with Deans there. If this had a diaper on it, wouldn't this just be a beautiful baby? Look at this thing. Ah!